So please look at the screen. I'm going to share with you the sample paper. Can you see it? Is it visible? Yes. Now here students, as you all know, your paper this time, it is going to be a 50 marks. 50 questions are going to be there, right? And uh, yes, yeah, so the weightage is, it's either 0.8 or we're going to make it out of 50, change it into 40, whatever, okay? Right, the thing is you will be getting 50 questions. There is no negative marking for English. There are three sections. You have your reading, you have your writing skills and your literature. Here in the sample paper, there are enough choices, right? But this time for your PT2, right? This we are not giving you. And when you have your term one exam in October, November, when CBS is going to conduct it, then you will have choice then. This time we are not giving choice because, uh, right? Uh, you need to practice more. Let us do the questions that are given. And otherwise, uh, 60 questions would be there, 50 you would have to do, okay? If a choice is there. Now, all of you, please look at the screen. Can you see it? Is the screen visible? No one tells me anything. Yes or no, the goal line here, no? Ma'am, we can see or not. Can't you tell me? You can? Yes, okay. Let me uh, see you all there. It's visible, okay, right, Tushar. And uh, I have uh, shared with you the whole uh, link that is there for uh, all the subject sample papers. So please just click on the corresponding uh, sample question paper and go through that, fine? Now look here at this. What I am going to show you is, are you reading the passage? Ankit, are you reading the passage? Mohit, are you? Read the passage carefully. Now look at this passage here. Yes, let's just take a quick look at it. I got posted in Srinagar, it's rugged mountains, vast meadows, reminded me, the Jibhi Valley in Himachal Pradesh. Unlike Srinagar that saw numerous uh, tourists, Jibhi Valley remained clouded in anonymity. That's when the seed of starting tourism in Jibhi was planted. I decided to leave my service in the uh, Indian Army and follow the urge to return home. Okay, now here look at this here. Right. Uh, yes. What I want you to understand is that look at the variety of questions that you will be getting. Now your comprehension passages are not going to be, you have a passage, you don't even read the passage, you look at the questions, find the answers and it's done. This is what you've been doing earlier. Yes or no? Yes. Now just look at the variety. Okay, so if you want, let's just go to the questions here. So you'll have to read the passage thoroughly and then you'll be able to find the answers. I'm not going to do that right now. What I want you to see is the variety of questions. So I just want to bring this, uh, you know, to your mind that it is not going to be easy scoring marks even in comprehension, right? The scenic beauty of Srinagar makes the writer feel awestruck, nostalgic, cheerful, or confused. He thought about the beauty of Himachal Pradesh when he saw that, isn't it? So it is nostalgic. What is nostalgic? What is nostalgic? No, it's not a, a kind. Yeah, it is fond memories, memories that bring pleasant memories, you know, like when you're grown up and you think about your childhood with nostalgia. So with that, emotions. Yes, so, right? So more memories which bring back emotions now. A, collect, a collocation is a group of words that often occur together. See what the writer is going to do or what the examiner is going to do. He is going to give you a context, right? He is going to give you an idea. Have you understood this passage? Similarly, on the basis of that passage, he is going to ask you more questions, you know, or like they might not be even re relevant, they're testing your vocabulary. A collocation is a group of words that often occur together. Fondness for, right? A kind of, that way, these are groups of words that we use together. What are collocations? 
You know what collocations are? Only then you'll understand this. The writer says that Jibi Valley remained clouded in anonymity. What does this mean? Clouded in anonymity. Anonymous. What does anonymous mean? What does anonymous mean? Anonymous kya hota hai? No name. You see many writings, you see many poems written and you can easily call the anonymous. Anonymous is not a name. Anonymous means that the poet does not want to reveal his identity. That is anonymity. Clouded in anonymity. Clouded in anonymity means not aware of. People are not aware of the beauty of that place. Everybody knows about Srinagar, but people don't know about Jibi Valley. Right? Anonymous hai wo. Unknown hai. Right? So what is the word that correctly collocates with clouded in? What word collocates with clouded in? Yes? Doubt. Right? Yes. Disgust, anger, terror to hai hi nahi. Clouded in anonymity, anonymity that no one is aware of it. Okay? Right, so with insta instead of, uh, yeah, we have that it is clouded in. Now select the option that completes the dialogue. Are you sure that your plan could work? I can't say. That's a lot of uncertainty, isn't it? Dash, father, please, let's do this. Now, when, supposing he went home and he wanted to start this, uh, uh, the tourism, uh, you know, like he wanted to start his own guest house and all. So what would have the dialogue be? Have you ever got such questions before? No. So look at the variety of questions. Look at that now. See, are you sure that your plan would work? I can't see. Come and tell me which do you think is the correct option. Let's see. Are you sure that your plan would work? I can't say. I can't say. Yes. Now look at the second part here. In paragraph two, let us move to paragraph two here. Where is it? The paragraph two. We had two houses, a family house and a traditional house, which we often rented out. I pleaded with my father to ask the tenant to vacate the house so that I could convert it into a guest house. This is the context. Iske basis pe dialogues banane. When my fi family finally relented, I renovated the house, keeping its originality intact, just adding windows for sunlight. Now look at this. Are you sure that your plan would work? I can't say. Right? I can't say. What? It is, look here, think before you leap, father is there. He's going to tell his father, think before you leap, father. No, well begun is half done, father. Right? Yes. Right? Yes. Are you sure that your plan would work? I'm sure, but I can say I, that I can believe in myself. Nothing mentioned, nothing when, father, please let's do this. What do you say? D is the correct option? Yes? Because he wants to think before you leave, father. Who wants to take the leap? The son wants to take the leap, no? Isn't it? Right? Now, which sign board would he have chosen? What, which sign would he have uh, taken? For his 1992, happy stay in Jibi Valley, guaranteed comfort at this Jibi Hotel, welcome to Jibi Valley. Welcome to Jibi's first tourist home. Which one? Which one? What do you say? Yes, Abhishek, can I have the right answer? What was so remarkable about this venture? First, Thana venture? Before that, nobody had done that? Yes? 
So it would be which one? Fourth one. Welcome to Jippy's first tourist home. Yeah, next one. Okay. Third. Now, see here, you know what? When we are doing multiple choices, a little hint that I can give you is let us narrow down our choices. Now, the second part, dekho, second part jo hai options. Ka, or second blank, dekho, writer, dash, father. Father comes in the end. What is he going to Well begun is half done, father. Please, let's do it. Yes. Think before you leave, father. All's well that ends well, right? Or nothing ventured, nothing went, father. Please, let's do this, right? So the, see the second part also. The th fourth is the correct answer, right? Now, let's see here. Now, see, I had taken uh, screenshots here. And uh, so maybe that is why if you, a question four is not there very clearly mentioned. So uh, you can go through it in the question paper. Section five, selection the option that clearly indicates the situation before and after in GB Valley. Before and after. What happened after 2008? What happened after 2008 in GB Valley? Look at your comprehension. Things changed significantly after 2000 when the government launched a homestay scheme. People built homestays and with rapid tourism growth, the region changed rapidly. Villages turned into towns with many concrete buildings. Local businesses and tourists continued putting a burden on nature. Now look at this over here. Yes. So before 2000, they were... Before 2000, it was picturesque landscapes, construction sites and commerce. There was zero tourism after skeptical villages, buildings and hotels, right? Scenic surrounding zero. So of course, look at this here. So A is the appropriate option, isn't it? Yes. Now, what is the relationship between one and two? Tourism came to a complete standstill in Jibhi Valley. Tourism has been my greatest teacher. Tourism came to a complete standstill. Yes, here. Yeah. Can anybody give uh, this uh, right answer? Yes. What is the relationship? What is it? Two is the cause for one. Tourism has been my greatest teacher. Tourism came to a complete standstill. One repeats the situation described in two. Does it? What is it? Tourism has been. Tourism came to a complete standstill. Two elaborates the problem discussed. Or one sets the stage for two. Yes? Which one? So if you want to, you can look at the passage also. Find out the sentences and all. Yes, anyone giving me the correct answer? Yeah, it is one sets the stage for two. Because yeah, it was his teacher. And now what has happened to tourism? It's at a standstill. Now the writer looks for sustainable solutions. He refers to the need for sustainable solutions. What are sustainable solutions? What is sustainable development? You all know that, right? The wise use of the judicious use of the resources. That is sustainable development. Turn back. Let's turn back. Okay, you can talk about here. People built homestays, the region changed, villages turned into towns, local businesses and tourists continued putting a burden on nature. Right. So for me, tourism, I brought it brought people from many countries and all states of India to my it gave me exposure and countless opportunities. I feel that I was able to fill my but also play a role in establishing tourism in the beautiful valley that I call home. Right. With the 2021 pandemic and lockdown, tourists came to a standstill. Local people returned to the villages. Some went back to farming, some took up pottery and some got involved in now all ardently hope that normalcy and tourism will return in a way that has given us opportunity to introspect, 
go back to our roots and look for sustainable solutions. Now here, let us look at the question. Writer mentions, why does he refer to the need for sustainable solutions? What is it? What caused him to look for the pandemic? Even though all natural ecosystems are essential pillars of resilience, we need to focus on using their resources to address the economic needs of mankind as a priority. The exposure to pandemics are a reality and big threat to the countries across the world. We're talking about the world or we talk about this? For an economic recovery to be durable and resilient, a res return to business as usual and environmentally destructive investment patterns and activities must be avoided. There's an increasing urgency in the climate and need for collaborative action for the future. What had he done? What had happened? Everybody had become so commercial. The village had changed, you know, it changed into a town. And now with this uh, pandemic, what happened to uh, or tourism? It came to a halt, it came to a standstill. Now he's finding sustainable solutions. That is keeping our ecology, keeping in touch with nature, let us find a solution. So either it is A or either it is C, which are the best options, right? Now you decide which is there, right? So either A or C, what do you see, which is the correct option? Yes, students at home, C, C is the better option because we should not go on uh, harming here. Now select the option that lists the customer's review for the writer's project. If an, a, a customer's, you know, you read there when you want to go to a place, you read the re reviews, right before you book a place and what is the review about that place which one is the customer review beautiful accommodation luxurious cottage with indoor pool and garden was it comfortable and peaceful neat room with ample sunlight pleasant and warm host he said he had added more windows enjoyed the sprawling suite on the fifth floor great view professional service remote locale good food clean room would have loved more natural light though. Which one is the correct? Which one? He had emphasized a natural light. It is there, you know, like uh, that is one big feature that he talked about. So is it B or is it D? B, B is there. Would have loved more natural light though. He's talking about, he added more windows so that more natural light could be there. Which quote summarizes the writer's feeling about the pace of growth of tourism? We kill all the caterpillars, then complain there are no butterflies. Nature will give you the best example of life lessons. Just open your eyes and see. And with that, I have not added the other. Yes, we do not see with our eyes, but with our understanding and our hearts, I'd rather be in the mountains thinking of God than in church thinking of the mountains. It's entirely your option. What do you think? What happens? We kill all the caterpillars and then complain there are no butterflies. We multiply in such a rapid place. And then we wonder where has nature disappeared? When you go to hill stations and all, what has happened? Where is nature? Where is beauty? We are there multiplying at a, such a rapid pace that we end up hurting nature, okay? Right, now what is this here? Now look at this, here. select the option and list what we can conclude. People of Jibbi Valley practice sustainable tourism, did they? The people of Jibbi Valley gradually embraced tourism. Tourists never revisited Jibbi Valley. The writer was an enterprising person. Yes, which ones are true? Last one is correct. The writer was an enterprising person. Who is an enterprising person? Come on, you're all commerce students, you know that. Who is an enterprising person? Is ready to take a risk? Yes? Then, okay, come on, you give me the answers.
Yes, did you get it? Did you, what do you think? Come on, now this is your test, not mine. Give me the answers, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You decide the B or D. Yes. A one and two people of GB practice sustainable tourism. No, they did not. They did not. Two is correct. Four is correct. Isn't it? Or if it, yeah, three is also there, maybe, yeah, because after the pandemic, yeah, two, three, and four are true. Now, let us uh, come to the next part. That is, okay, the next uh, paragraph you are going to practice. I'm going to discuss the answers with you all tomorrow. Now, what I want you to do is look at the writing skill. Please take out the sample paper and we can discuss it. I am not sharing the screen right now. I'll uh, share the sample paper with you all today. And right now you all have it. The link is there. Just open it up. I just want you to have a look. Now, what have we noticed about the uh, comprehension? Are the questions going to be simple? No. Questions are, they have given you a concept. They have given you an idea. They're going to take your understanding of that. Right? So it is not asking you the meaning of sustainable development. They're not asking you the meaning of uh, tourism or how it affects which year the, you know, like uh, the face of uh, Jibi Valley changed and what are homestays and things like that. No, it is overall understanding. Okay. Yes. Abhishek, any doubts? So we have to read very, very carefully. And that is why it is going to be time consuming. You're going to get questions like this. We'll not be finishing in seconds only. Right, Mohit? Yes. What? Yeah, look at the next one. Now, next is writing skills. How are you going to get them? You were wondering how we're going to get them. I gave you questions last time in the revision test also. That was a format based. You can get content based also. Now, here a content has been shared with you. What is it? The president of RWA, Chilavur Heights, Kozi Kore, has to put up a notice to inform residents about a power cut for their residential area. This is a notice. What is the notice about? It is about a power cut. Okay. The name of the society has been given to you. Isn't it? Right. And who is going to put up the notice? The president is going to put up. So when we have to these format based writing skills, so you will have a, a rough page, right? Rough space would be there. Try to draw the notice there. Put in the particulars there. So it is easy for you to identify what comes where. You are aware of the uh, format? Yes. Now tell me, what is appropriate title for the notice? Choosing own power cuts? Scheduled power cut? The need to save power? Or power and resident society. It is B option. It's very correct. Very easy. This was the next one. Now, what is this accurate opening for this notice? How do we open the notice? How do we begin writing our notice? Yes. How do we start a notice? You all know it. If you know that, you'll save your time. This is to inform. Is it there? So I don't write greeting and attentions. Do we write? No. The notice is written to share some news. No, we don't write it that way. I wish to share with the officials of no. We, we never use personal pronouns in the notice writing. Okay. So which option is correct? C option is correct. Are you all seeing that? Can you find it out? Yes. Now, what are the information points? So both ways you can get your writing skills. So this is also easy. The other one is also there, right? Either way, what I want you to do, please draw the format, put the value points there, and you know how to write a notice, okay? Right? 
Now select the options which should be included. We talk about the content part. This is the content part. What are you going to talk about? Are you going to talk about the opinion about power cuts? Oh no, power cuts are very bad. They, uh, you know, cause a disturbance in our daily routine. Are we going to write that? No. Resolution for power cuts? No, that this should be a regular feature or something like that. Reason for the power cut? Is it given? Is it given? Okay, let's see. Timings of the power cut? Yes. Complaint against power cut? Date of the power cut? Yes. Okay. So reason for the power cut, you can give it. It could be our maintenance reasons or something like that. You can mention that. Okay. And uh, yes, uh, it would be the timings of the power cut and the date of the power cut. Because we know when we write the notice, we are going to put the date and time, okay? Right? For the power cut. Clear? Yes. Would this notice reflect the name of the RWA? Where will it come? It will come the designation or will it be in the issuing authority? Will it be in the name of the organization institute or somewhere? Then RWA, the president of RWA, Chelavur Heights, Residence Welfare Association. That is RWA. That is what it stands for. Where will this come? Yes, because it is the issuing body. No, because it is understood through the signature. Yes, because it makes it informal. No, because the title makes it clear. Would this notice reflect the name of the RWA? Will RWA be there? It would be. Yes, RWA would be there. Kis ki meeting hai? Residents ki me meeting hai na? It would be there. Yes, it would be. Now select the appropriate conclusion. How am I going to end it? I have informed the residents that this is to inform you that because of maintenance reason, our society will be facing a power cut on this date, day this, right? So stay prepared, get your inverters charged and everything that way. Okay, look at him. Stay informed. Collaboration solicited. Stay prepared. Or inconvenience regretted. When something happens like this, right? The people are, yes, they are going to be a little problem for them. They are going to suffer. We write inconvenience regretted. Koi road pe diversion hoti hai. You're traveling from, uh, you know, like there. And uh, yes, so please uh, take this route, right? Inconvenience regretted. Inconvenience regretted ki jo tumhe problem hai, uske liye hume yeah, we are, we are sorry for that. Inconvenience, regretted, right? Or it could be, yes, like in your locality, there is going to be a function. And because of that, we love doing this. We've put up our tents and shamyanas all over the place. So, what have we done? Main road for block here. And we inform the residents in our WhatsApp group, or you put up that uh, information there, right? A few days prior, that you will have to take an alternate route. Last room, neglete, inconvenience, regretted. Yes, it would. Because it is issuing body. RWA will be there. Don't we write? Like, of course, if it is the meeting, it would be the people who are the residents. So some people are there, not involved, you know, like maybe in the policy matters and all, right? So you have students saying, oh yeah, your PGs and some people there, right? Who have, but people who are actually involved in the policy or you can say it is, no, RWA is Residents Welfare Association. It would be there. It would be there. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. 
So the next one, let's see this. Now look at this one. It's about an article. When, oh, please go through this paper. I am going to discuss the remaining 